and welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an All Right Podcast. Guys, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the All Right Podcast. With me, your host, Anthony O'Reilly. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you not in your studio? Why are you at home? Well, if you're asking that, you're stupid. And do you know why? Because COVID-19, that's why. It's happening, people. And it's affecting a lot of people. And including myself um, I'm not trying to be selfish by saying oh I can't even go to my studio it I'm, I'd rather be at home and I'd rather be safe than go to my studio and maybe getting it possibly getting it you know and um, it is tough what's going on right now and it's been about what a week and a half two weeks since this happened and to me personally it feels like a film it feels like a movie it doesn't feel like it's actually real like it's actually happened it's like hasn't hit me yet it really hasn't and it's been like almost two weeks and it hasn't hit me how serious this thing is i think the first time i kind of hit me in the face it was when um i seen tom hanks uh, saying that he had a him and his wife and that was like a week ago almost two weeks ago and that's when it kind of hit me and said you know what this thing could probably be dangerous man this thing could be probably be real and i've just continued like I know that we're all supposed to be staying in lockdown right now, but if I stay in this house, I'm gonna go mad. I really am. I bring dogs on the walk to the park. I don't try to talk, stop and talk to people. I literally go into the middle of the park um, in the grass and let the dogs just have a run around uh, for about half an hour and then go back in. If I need anything in the shops, I go to shops. I um, line up in the queues with everybody else the way um, that you're supposed to now. And it's weird, man, because when this eventually dies down, um, and I don't know when that's going to be, but when it does, we all thought it was going to be within two weeks, but it's not. It looks like I'm supposed to be going on the holidays in May, um, at the end of May, and I don't think I'm going to uh, be going on holidays now. And it's actually sad to me knowing that this is my first time ever, ever in my life. Um, I've only ever been to England, Scotland, uh, Wales. That's I've, that's the only places I've ever been in my life. And this is the first year that I was going to go to Spain. We're going to go to Salou. Me and my girlfriend, Nicola, we're going to go to uh, Salou for a week. And this is the first time that I, I was able to get up money and treat Nicola to something this nice. And it's just affected my plans. It's So it's not only just a podcast and having to do it in my house now. It's... It's a holiday that me and her were looking forward to, and now it's it's more likely not going to happen. Now, hopefully, I'll get my money back. If I don't, I'm, we're going to probably move it to a later day. If I can't move it to a later day, and I don't get my money back, I'm going to be really, really upset. Like, I'm going to be really sad, um, because I was really looking forward to it. And the one thing as well that I was looking forward to, and I know friends of mine are going to laugh when I say this, but I'm being dead honest. I was looking forward to going to Tao Park. I was, and I can hear people laughing right now in my head through the t through the screen. Is that laughing? But to me, I really enjoy that place. It's one of the places where I can go and just be a kid. I can just like, I can go back and pretend like what I was like to be a kid. I can run around and go. And there's this roller coaster there, and it's called the Kukulin, and it's the first ever roller coaster I've ever probably went on, like the proper roller coasters. And that was the reason why we wanted to go to Salu as well. We wanted to go to Salou because where we were, we were only 10 minutes away from Port Aventura. And Port Aventura is literally known to have big roller coasters. And there's a roller coaster called the Dragon the Dragon Can. And it has eight hoops on it. And it's supposed to be huge, bigger than um, the one in uh, Tao Park. And I was dying to go on it. I was, I was literally watching videos about it. And we were going to go to Fiari Land as well. And Fiari Land has the um, Red Force roller coaster. And I was asking people out, and I'm watching videos on YouTube every single evening, uh, point of view uh, videos um, and different types of videos on these um, roller coasters. And I was getting so excited. But do you ever get when you're that nervous? You're excited, but you get that nervous feeling in your stomach. And you, you're like, oh, should I go on it? Should I go on it? And it, it's like butterflies, man. That's what it is. And I'm, I'm so sad that I might not be able to go. Hopefully, if we can't go in May, that we can uh, reschedule it to like August or something like that as well. And I've never been to Spain. I never have. And I wish I... 
I just hope this all blows off. I hope, and I know it. You're probably like, oh, you're just thinking of yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm affected by this as well. So my plans are affected, and obviously, people, um, I know friends that had to come back from uh, college in, um, different countries because of this. Um, I know people that can't go outside because of this, and I know that it's kind of shit for old people. This whole thing. There is, we can get it. I'm 24, almost 25 years of age. I can get uh, Corona, but they say that in young people that don't really have any problems with them. Like I don't, I don't have like asthma. I don't have, like I, the only bad thing I have is like anxiety. And um, I wouldn't say it's that bad as it used to be. And hopefully, God, fingers tapping on the table right now that I don't get it. And I don't develop more problems because I was told, well not what told, yeah, well, I was told, I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast and I was watching, uh, he had a an expert on, I forget his name, um, but he said that people can develop pneumonia from it. Um, even if you don't have any um, problems with like asthma or heart disease or anything, you can develop pneumonia. And if you get pneumonia and because the COVID-19, the virus actually goes, it goes straight for your lungs and it affects your lungs. If you had pneumonia, it's a harder chance, it's a harder point to uh, fight the virus off. It really is. So I'm real, I'm, I, I am, I am realizing how dangerous it is, you know? It's, it's scary, it is scary. And I think a lot of people are talking about this uh, topic right now, so I think it's okay for me to talk about it and my kind of point of view is on it. Because that's what the podcast is about. It's about either me, Talking into this camera to you guys so you can watch this and hopefully is our if anyone's wondering, it's it's literally it's, it's this thing right here. If you hear that noise let me know again. But anyway, let me as I was saying what was I saying? Great, now I'm like a sprinkler. Lovely. Um but yeah, sorry, it, it affects a lot of us. It affects a lot of us and I hope that it does come over soon because as I was saying already that it is something that I have to talk about because I'm affected by it as well even if I'm in here I can I can say it to you guys you know and this is what my podcast is for that's yeah that there you go that's what it is and people are probably looking through the camera now going go on buddy yeah and you know who you are when I say go on buddy and um, yeah so I knew knew what I was talking about lovely and um, so it does it does affect me and this is this is my way of escaping reality and talking into a camera with you guys and um, just for them like probably 15 20 minutes because i'm not going to do this podcast for long i don't know how this podcast is, is going to go on for i don't know how long but hopefully i can get guests on and if we have to wear the masks I, i'll wear the mask if they want to wear the mask i'll get masks and we can wear them and um, hopefully the audio is great for you guys on this one because James's camera, my friend James, he gave me a shot. Not James's camera, sorry, James's mic. He gave me a shot of his microphone, um, and it's it's doing wonders on this camera right now. And the lights as well. The lights are bloody great. It's actually all right lighting in here. It's actually good. And um, I was expecting not really much good of a video. And um, but anyway, guys, I just want to do a little small update and say just stay safe and follow the regulations as well i'm sorry that this podcast hasn't been long i'm sorry that this podcast um, isn't what you usually tune in and watch especially on this channel and i just wanted to give you an update about myself and the whole the whole thing what i think of it i think if we do follow the rules and regulations stay in for two weeks only go to the shops if you need to and um, don't be out don't be socializing with people uh, I seen a, f a video on Facebook where a four day, a four day year old baby was, yeah, he was born four days ago, okay? He was born four days ago and the nanny, the two nannies, first time ever seeing him was through the kitchen window because they weren't allowed in because it affects old people, uh, elderly people, more than it would affect the likes of us. Um, so they, I, I'd imagine being, um, um, old or elderly and how scary this is for you guys you know scary they they went through the fucking epidemic of AIDS you know what I mean they're scary like they've been through pandemics you know they've been through so many shit 
You know, there's people that are alive now today that were alive during World War Two, and they're still alive. There's, I'm not saying all of them, I'm just saying a few people, you know, yourself. Um, yeah, so it is scary to go through. And it's the first time in our generation for young people and even people in their 40s and 50s and stuff that something like this has happened. Um, I'm looking up, I was looking up the Spanish flu um, and it said it lasts two years. It lasts from, um, I think it lasts from December. Yeah, oh no, sorry. It has lasted from January to, uh, no, uh, 1918 to December toward um, 1920. That's when it. That's when it uh, done that, and that's what how long that lasts. And that's scary, man, because that could go on this long. It could. They're trying to find vaccinations, and it's just we don't know when we're gonna have it. And hopefully, we have it soon. And hopefully, when you do, go get it. Go get that vaccination. You know, um, because you're gonna save a lot of lives and a lot of other people, and especially protect yourself against the virus. So, um, guys, thanks very much for watching this episode of the podcast. I'm so sorry that it's no guests on this week. It's not going to be like an hour long. Um, that It's just a short video. But it's just to address you guys that starting next week, I will have Nicola on. Um, Nicola will be here with me. Um, we're going to record probably on the weekend. It'll be up next Wednesday then um, for you guys. And we're just going to talk about probably more about the virus and her opinions on it. Because Nicola's a scientist. She's done science for four years. Um, in minute so she probably has a much 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 better um, thought process of all this and her outcome and what her thoughts are as well you know and we can talk more about how that could affect us with our holidays and so you know um, so yeah please uh, tune in next week for that for uh, Nicola as the next guest on the RA podcast but for now guys thanks so much for watching remember hit the like subscribe remember if you want to subscribe to us and hit that notification bell because it is very important if you hit that notification bell that you can follow up on any time any updates on the RA podcast you'll get first hand and um, my instagram will be in the link down description below if you want to go check that out so i always i always um post a day or two before um, i'm going to upload videos and what guests i'm going to have on as well so it is it is handy and um, for the likes of that and i do follow people back and um, if you're not weird or you're not disturbed. Sorry, weird. Weird's good. But yeah, if you're not disturbed, lovely. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been the episode of the All Right Podcast. I think it's episode 34 because Greg was on last week. So, episode 34. Hopefully, it's 34. Uh, 34. Fingers crossed. Uh, I don't mess that up. I'm pretty sure it's 34. Grant, I said 34 so many times. I could be saying it till I could say it 34 times, but I'm not going to say it 34 times. Anyway, guys, episode 34. Yeah, uh, guys, remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an alright podcast. Guys, thanks for listening, and we'll chat to you next week with our next guest, Nicola Malloy.